Good morning, my name's Tom with uh, Home and RV. I'm going to do a walk around your, your used Falcon you just purchased and uh, tell you a little bit about the outside, then we'll go inside and do the same thing. Your uh, awning is uh, partially out. In order to pull the awning out, there's a lever on this side and uh, that has to be pulled down when it's in the up position and then you're going to use this rod into this cord to pull it down uh, to uh, let it to put it back up you're going to hold on to that cord with the rod and pull the uh, push the lever up and it will automatically uh, retract you want to make sure you're holding on to the rod uh, so it doesn't get away from you as we'll start up here at the uh, front with your storage, lots of storage all the way through. And then we'll come around to your LP tanks. The LP tanks are full, and so you're ready to camp. You just want to, uh, it's a good idea to camp with one off. And this is pointing to, in this direction to this tank, letting you know uh, that's the one you're drawing from first. If they're both on, they will uh, both uh, deplete so uh, it's uh, camp with one off. That way when you run out of gas here, you can turn the valve and open this tank and know that you have uh, gas backup. Then you can take this tank and uh, refill it. Behind that's your deep cycle marine battery. You wanna check that uh, about every four to five months. Make sure water is staying over the plates. If it's at or below the plates, just add some distilled water come around to the other side all the way through you have an extra cable for a 20 amp uh, the cable you also have a cable for 30 amp which you are plugged into you have stabilizers on all four corners once you get to the campsite and you level up side to side on your low side tire uh, you'll do that first before you unhook and once you've done that uh, then you can uh, get off of your tow vehicle by using your uh, jack. Once uh, you've got it off your tow vehicle, then you can uh, adjust the level forward and aft with this jack. You want to make sure you chalk the wheels uh, for safety and uh, do not use the stabilizers, which are on all four corners, to jack the unit. They're not jacks, they're stabilizers. So once you've got it level side to side and front to back, you can, uh, you can run those down to stabilize your unit. You, uh, you have a membrane on your roof. Uh, it has a die-core seal across the front, one across the back. Everything that comes up through that roof has die-core sealant around it. Dicor is a brand name. They make a lot of things for campers. They make this sealant that's non-silicone. Do not put any silicone on that roof. It will eat through the membrane. Located here is your water heater. Uh, your unit's been winterized, so we've taken the plug out. And the plug is here. So when you get ready to dewinterize it, uh, you'll turn the... Uh, the bypass valve which is located underneath the bed and uh, be able to fill the tank from there. Next to that is your fresh water and city water connections. This is a fresh water fill. It's an onboard tank. It has a demand pump on board as well to uh, pump water out of that tank uh, when you so desire. You know, you turn on a faucet or flush a toilet or run the shower the pump will run. Once those valves are off, the pump will shut down. Next to that's your city water connection. You'll need a uh, camping hose for that, uh, EPA approved. You, you can get it at any uh, RV uh, or uh, any camping area. So uh, it's a good idea to have a pressure regulator for that. You'll hook that pressure regulator up at the source, not here, and um, that way 
if uh, you do get a surge in pressure, uh, it won't blow your hose. It'll just uh, stop at the source. And as I mentioned, there's your 30 amp service here. Uh, so if you're at a campsite with 30 amps, uh, you can plug into it. You need 30 amps to run your AC. So do not run the AC on anything less than 30 amps. Slide outs out, and your slide out has uh, several storage areas that run all the way in to the inside, uh, so you can access them from both sides. Your sewer dump is here, and the black valve back there, the big knife blade, is your uh, toilet, and the gray is your uh, gray water, your sinks, and shower. What you'll do is uh, hook a uh, dump hose uh, to this outlet. It's a bayonet connection. You see the little knobs on each side. The dump hose has uh, little hooks on each side so that you can twist it on and put it in, in the dump area. So once your hose is in the dump, you'll pull the black first and let that uh, sewage uh, drain. And then you can pull the gray and that will uh, kind of wash out your hose. You do not want to let, if you're in a full hookup, you do not want to leave those valves open. Uh, those valves, uh, those tanks need to have water in them so that they can uh, flush out the solids and the paper in the black tank. Uh, that hose is located here. The nice thing about it's in the uh, bumper and we'll uh, slide in and out there. So, uh, the nice thing about having to use campers, the uh, people who had it before have left you a lot of uh, good stuff. You have an outdoor shower, uh, there's a key for that. It's just a uh, hose with uh, hot and cold water, a spare tire. It's a nice unit. You have uh, outdoor speakers here and there and uh, those are water resistant, not waterproof. So do not spray directly into them. They will not take a direct hit from a hose. They will take you washing down the unit and rainwater falling on the unit will not hurt them. You do have a bracket here that you could bring a TV out and uh, slot it there, hook it into your onboard antenna here and into your electric here. This is your furnace exhaust. Uh, it does get hot, but uh, it's a good idea to have a screen for this. The uh, screen will fit right over this uh, opening and uh, keep mud daubers and little varmints out. The back of your refrigerator, not a lot to see. It's for uh, service techs to uh, work on the back of your refrigerator if needed. You do have a vent for your cooktop and uh, you can open the vent when you're in camp and close it when you're traveling. It has a van, fan above your cooktop to vent out. We'll go inside now and do the same type of walkthrough. As you come in you have a lot of nice storage behind glass doors. The bathroom and shower in here with a light switch here. You do have a fan for ventilation. And your toilet. In order to put water in the bowl, you're gonna press the foot pedal, which is located here, slightly till the water runs in, but the valve's not open. And that will uh, put water in the bowl for use. Once uh, you've used it, you push the pedal all the way down and it will go directly into the black tank. It's also where you're going to put your black tank chemicals. Before you start camping, open up the valve, pour black tank chemicals in or a packet, however you want to do it, and uh, it will uh, keep your tank smelling nice and fresh. And uh, it also is there to break down solids and paper in a nice sink. 
like all the cabinet doors with the glass in it, and your shower. If we come on into kitchen, uh, cooktop, it lights off with a handheld sparker. You'll turn it to light. As soon as you do, gas is coming out, and you'll need to uh, light it off with a stick lighter. Up here is your light for your cooktop and your fan that I mentioned earlier. Your sink and your keys will be in the sink when you uh, get your unit. Up above that is uh, your radio slide out button that brings the slide in or back out. You have your water pump. This pump well, you only need to turn on if you do not have city water. If you have city water, then do not turn the pump on. This pump is the demand pump I told you about for your fresh water fill. You have a meter here to check your fresh tank, your black tank, and your gray tank, and also your battery. Up above that is your water heater switches. The one on the left is your electric. If you're plugged into electric at the campsite, use that. If uh, you do not have electric or, uh, or you're not at a campsite with electric, use the gas. You turn it on and uh, it will light off. Both of them get just as hot, uh, either electric or gas. Nice microwave. And then next to that is Nice storage area. Ooh. Welcome to your refrigerator. Your refrigerator is gas or electric. I've turned it on. It's not cool yet, but you turn it on by simply pressing a button. It will automatically go to electric if the electric's on. On automatic, if you're plugged into electric at the campsite and they lose electric somehow, then it will automatically switch to gas. You can uh, switch it to gas by just pushing the gas button in. It will look for gas. If it doesn't find it, this will not light up. If it finds it, then that will light up and uh, you'll know that you're operating on gas. Nice size refrigerator. The Medic's a good brand. I have it in my trailer. Below that is your battery disconnect to uh, disconnect your battery during storage. Press it in. Uh, you have uh, your below that is your breaker panel and your fuses for your 12 volt. Next to that's your furnace uh, outlet. You do have. Uh, your LP detector back here. Storage access underneath the seat. Your dinette does make into a bed. You simply pop the top of the bed off by pushing up uh, on on the bed or on the uh, table top, and then bring these take these legs out of the floor. Put them in a safe place. Then this tabletop will uh, rest on each side here. And then you can pull the pillows forward to make a bed. And of course your queen size bed is located here at the front of the unit. And again, the previous owner has left you some uh, nice camping material. You have a light switch here which lights up accent lights up above. All the other lights operate with a button on them directly. You have a smoke detector here. Your furnace lights off with thermostat here. You simply push it on and let Go to the temperature you want. You can do that down below. And then 
Your AC operates with the switches on it. That pretty well uh, takes care of the walkthrough. We want to thank you for buying your unit here. Again, uh, although we don't carry these units, I think it's a really nice one. Uh, and I think you're going to have uh, a lot of fun camping in it. So again, thank you for uh, buying your unit from Holman, and we know you're going to have fun in it.